guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kayla and I am a brand new YouTuber. So you will be seeing a bunch of cool and fun things from me from beauty, fashion, tips, tricks, hacks, food, anything you can imagine. So if you want to be part of this family then please subscribe and share it with your friends so that you can help me to make this channel grow. And so if you enjoy my work then please hit that subscribe button and don't be afraid to share it with your friends and family. So it can be old or new shirts, it doesn't matter. Basically I just got three shirts from Mr. Price, oversized main shirts that were on sale. I think they were about 50 Rand. So very inexpensive, so all you can do is just go and get yourself some big shirts that you can cut up or do whatever you want with, or your old shirts that you aren't wearing. So if you want to see how you can upscale them and make them just a bit more trendy, then please keep on watching. Let's go. Okay guys, so for the first shirt you are going to need a ruler, a marker, some fabric glue, fabric scissors and some lace. Then the first thing you want to do is flip your shirt inside out and lay down flat. Then with your marker you want to mark a dot where you want your neckline to end and then connect that dot to the top of your shirt. Then using your scissors you want to carefully cut out the neckline. Then flip your shirt back and insert a piece of cardboard between the two layers just to ensure that the glue doesn't stick the two layers together. Then you're going to take your lace and measure out the strips that you want to form your cage with. Then cut them out and lay them down flat. Then using your fabric glue you are going to carefully stick down the ends of the strips to your new neckline. Then to make it a bit more neat, we are going to take the rest of the lace and form a border around the neckline. Then to finish it off, we're just going to cut out a triangle and stick it to the bottom of the neckline. Then you're going to let it dry and when it's dry you can take out the cardboard, lay it on its side and just round out the hem a bit just to make it a bit more girly and less boxy. And then you are done. Okay guys, so for the second shirt you're going to need a ruler, a marker and some fabric scissors. So the first thing you want to do is flip your shirt inside out and mark a line where you want your fringe to start and then mark out your strips. Then using your scissors you are going to cut out the strips. This doesn't have to be neat at all. You can just do it however you want. Then if you want to you can remove the sleeves and round out the neck a bit. And then you are done. Okay guys, so I had a bit of change of setting, but then for the last shirt you are going to need fabric scissors, a ruler, a marker, an eyelet puncher, eyelets and some string of some sort. Then using your marker you're going to make a dot where you want your neckline to end and connect that to the top of your shirt just like the first shirt. Then using your scissors you are cut, going to cut out the new neckline. Then using your eyelet puncher as you can see you are going to first make a hole with that top thing and then you are going to punch in the eyelet with the middle thing that I'm showing you there. So the first thing you are going to do is where you mark where you want your dot to be, you are going to punch a hole and then you are going to insert the eyelet.
So you want to mark where you want your eyelids to be punched in and then make sure they are aligned on both sides. Then first I cut out all the holes and then afterwards I went in with a scissor just to make it a bit more neat and then I punched in the eyelids. Then you're going to flip your shirt right side out and start lacing up your shirt. I used some sort of lace string, it was sort of silver, but you can use anything you want. And you can lace it up any way you want, but I decided to lace it up in a crisscross way. Then when you are done, you are also going to just round out this hem, just to make it a bit more girly. And then you are done.